Okay, this is the audio coming from the external microphone, so the attachable microphone. Um, this is actually going to be the first time that I actually get to hear the quality of the microphone. Um, okay guys, this is video from um, in a dark area with no extra light. As you can see, there's some light over... Um, over here but this is going to practically be what it looks like with hardly any light at all and then i'm going to turn on the um light for the flash is what they call it um and this is what this looks like with the flash and this is with it on and this is with off as you can tell there is 
Um, it's, it does help just a little bit, but not a whole lot. Um, so it will kind of help you in a bind if you have to shoot in a dark environment. Okay, guys, this is the uh, video quality of the IR um, mode. And as you can tell, it is a big increase of what we previously just got. Um, so it will help a little bit um, with the IR, but of course it will only be in black and white, but so far that feature works pretty nice. Okay guys, with the previous clips, that was shot with the wide angle lens. This is gonna be the macro lens, um, the quality of it, and this is in a somewhat well-lit natural light area. Okay guys, this is the quality of just the camcorder itself without the extra lenses. So you guys can compare which it was better, if it was better with the extra lenses or not. Do some zoom to 30 max. I can tell you on the display of the camera, the quality on the display on the camera um, looks super nice. Um, but again, it is only displaying on a 3.1 inch display, so it should look nice, crisp, and clear on that type of display. But the question is, how well is the quality, quality gonna be without this small display on a bigger display, are you going to be able to see a big difference or not? And I will let you guys decide on that. Because I already know my answer, and that's kind of in the review already. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think.